Ross, thanks for joining us. You changed the formation, but it was another defeat. Yes, that's right, Dave. Um, felt like um, we we um, we felt like after Tuesday's game, sorry, uh, that we we came upon something that could suit us. Um, and I think at times today there were moments where we looked a real threat. Um, we looked as if we could hurt the opposition um, and get good control on the game. But um, the ultimate moments come down to what happens in uh, in our box. And there's been too many moments this year where we've given away goals that, um, that, nice words that, that, that describe the, the, the goals. I think the second one is, I haven't watched it back, but a little bit scruffy and we don't seem to get it away and, and, and clear our lines. But, but the first one is from our own corner, we all run back and it's honest and people are trying and there's no question about that we all run back but we've got seven players in our in and around our final third and the guy runs through one on one to score against the goalie and that's poor defender and Lawrence figure was the big zero of the two goalkeepers in the second half yes we spoke we spoke before the game and at half time about our um, opportunity to cross a little bit more today because we felt we would get I think in the first half definitely Jordan Thomas got into some real threatening positions both got into higher positions and we felt there'd be more opportunity to get balls into the box with players on their good foot if you like um, but we didn't test it only enough and we had a few shots from distance and blocked shots but they're not, not, not enough really and I, and I felt that uh, we, we got to a point in the game where obviously the second goal then went in and, the, and it was like we can almost like relax now, the pressure's off and then we start to look like a bit more of a threat in terms of the way that we get up the pitch again. So we need to, uh, there needs to be a better focus to the way that we go about, uh, like I say, our, our defensive areas and then what we do to impose ourselves at the top end. It's unusual not seeing the leading marksman uh, Dan Johnson start. Yes, very much so. Um, I had a, I've said before the game, but I had a chat with Dan before the game, and I'm conscious of the, the amount of football he's played uh, in recent times. So we don't. The last thing we want is to lose him for an extended period. The other side of it as well, Davies, um, Louis Dennis performed well on Tuesday night. Um, he, he got a goal. He looked a threat. He made some good runs. He had other chances. So I was I was pleased with him, and I think there has to be that um, opportunity for people to get into the team. And as I said, right at the start of the season, it's impossible to play every game. And a first league start for Jordan Thomas. Yeah, like I said, in the first half I felt he was a real threat. Um, got into the final third, got some good balls into the box, some good good dribbles 1v1. He he, he done well for us. In the second half, um, once we moved him to right back, it became tough. And there was a couple of times where they got in behind him and it, and it made it difficult for him. Obviously, the goal came from, from down that side, so we felt it was the right stage of the game to, to get him off. Uh, it's, it's very tough for a lad of his age that's played Tuesday night to play again and t uh, talked about it in the, in the week about how um, keeping players up to scratch so many of them are playing so many minutes but the ones that are not it's very difficult to, to get them prepared so we, we're again conscious of, uh, of not pushing Jordan too far. And coming up a week for the first time for a very long time without a match on a Tuesday night I'd imagine that gives you an opportunity to work with the players on uh, and you probably need that time. Oh, good God, yes. Um, and defending our box will be a priority um, because we work in it in snippets when we get the opportunity to do that. And, um, you know, we went through a, a series of game, what, three or four games on the spin where we looked solid and looked much more better prepared to defend. And teams are going to put balls in your box. Teams are going to have set pieces and put balls in your box. So we've got to be ready to, to defend. We've got to be ready to scrap and, 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 and defend a little bit um, untidily, I suppose, at times because... Um, we, we give up. We, we've given up too many, too many easy opportunities for people to score against us. And with so many games, it's hardly surprising that there's a few injuries. Craig Clay won the latest. Yes, um, accumulation. I think to a degree, we felt it was only fatigue <coughs> at one stage during the week, but it hasn't really cleared up. He, he was suffering a little bit with it at the back end the last week, but he felt it come through to the level that we put him on against uh, against Newport. So Craig's a massive miss for us. He gives us great energy. He gives us a, a different dynamic. Probably led towards the uh, a little bit of the change. Of, of the shape today as well because of um, because of not having Craigie there so he's a big one for us but you've got a squad for a reason and, and, and when we when we change it we, we need, people need to, to step in and take those opportunities. Miles Judley and goal could they be in contention for Port Vale? I don't want to say um, Juddy and uh, at the moment because of the setbacks that he suffered so um, he's very very close to training I would hope that Monday Tuesday next week that he's amongst the group a little bit to see how he, how he gets on like that but I don't want to say that he's going to be because of the setbacks that he suffered and, and that could potentially happen with that injury that he, that he suffered with for an extended period of time very similar to Lee I think Lee's one's going to drag on a little bit longer um, he hasn't recovered and got up 
to scratch in training quite as quickly as we would hope. That, that's not to say no way at all, but um, you know, I think it, there's a doubt. Sam Lane's been patient. Yes, he came into the team today and um, obviously didn't get probably the minutes out there that he, that he would have wanted to. Um, he's, he's waiting for his opportunity. For, you know, took his goal well. He sort of threw a number of bodies that I was looking at it, so I didn't quite see it. I'll watch it back again this evening. But um, yeah, delighted for him that he's, that he's gone on pitch. And I suppose with any player that's not in a team and gets on the pitch, the one way to try to prove your point that you deserve an opportunity is to score a goal. And Ross, after one of disappointing results, what's the mood like in the camp? Disappointing. Um, disappointed um, from from you know from myself in terms of having to portray that. Um, I think the biggest disappointment comes from the fact that again today, like, have we been murdered? Have we been run off the pitch? Have we played a team yet that we really think oh, come up against them? I mean, I look at the Swindon game at home last year, and I look at the Plymouth game away last year. Both both Plymouth away games last year, and I remember coming off there thinking, "Good God, I don't, I don't know how we go to to toe with that." That hasn't happened to us yet. I think that leads to even more frustration that when we've come up against, I'm not taking anything away from the teams that have beat us. Really give us a pummeling. No one's really give us an idea, but we sort of hand over opportunities for for, for teams to, to take the points off of us. So I mean, the thing for from my perspective, Dave, is it's, it's a downbeat atmosphere and a downbeat feel. It's two league defeats, one disappointing FA Cup exit, and a, and, a, and an EFL Trophy game that we were already through in. So perspective is important. I think um, my message to everybody, to, to the, certainly to the players, when we went through the three wins and a draw the other week was let's not think we're going to go and win the league now so we have to maintain a little bit of order and control on the fact that yes we're very disappointed the bread and butter as I said to the players today is our league performances and we've let ourselves down again today very in a very similar fashion that we have done against Newport and, uh, and Forest Green so that has to improve um, we've got uh, a week on the training ground to, um, to put that right